Oh hey, I didn't see you there. I was busy up here in the sky, paragliding. Sometimes I wish a gust of wind would just come along and finally end it all. Yeah, that's usually how people react to me when I appear on the beach too. They, they just run away into the sea. Already gone ahead and created my dynasty for today and guess what guys? It's Jeremy Gorbachev. I know you've all been wondering what he's been up to since he got arrested for um, burning down that prison. Oh no, the lawyer. Guys, hide the fire! Uh, yeah, that was a very dark chapter in Jeremy Gorbachev's life, alright, we're past that now. Oh, straight on our island, and there is our man, Jeremy Gorbachev, right there. You can tell he needs the sunglasses, not because the island's so bright, but because his giant yellow suit that melts your retinas right out. Uh, considering we're in the colonial era, I don't think it's too appropriate to be building cotton plantations. It's just, I really don't want to be in another Kotaku article. Although, saying that, bad news is, we don't really have the most fertile land around and I, I think we're actually gonna have to build this cotton plantation but I'm just gonna go ahead and say it right now I'm only gonna be letting white people work there they're not slaves uh, no, they are slaves. Um, uh, robots. Robots are working there. No people. I feel like I might have expanded a bit too quickly here because, um, I've got no people to actually work on my island. You might be wondering why this small island needs three docks and a lighthouse, but realistically, I don't. I just like hanging down by the docks. You meet a lot of shady characters down there willing to do a lot of shady things. Fortunately, none of the shady things include wanting to actually work at the library. Somebody please work at the library. Oh, thank the Lord. We finally got our first group of immigrants to the nation and as you can tell they kind of look like they're both about to churn some butter and sell me a box of Quaker oats. Delicious. Pro tip, grow illicit drugs on the island then everyone will work doubly as fast. Okay, hear me out here. I got a great idea. It's called the shovel. And you know what we use these shovels for? Goat farms. Millions of them. Just imagine how much profit is in these goats and specifically Milk! Just tell me which famous millionaires haven't started off with goat's milk. Just name one. Exactly, you can't. Oh. Hold on a second. It, it's just not milk season yet. This, it's just not milk season. You can't just milk all year round. It's got to be the specific time where the milk is on the, the tea. Oh god, they want another life. Do you know how hard it was for me to get people to work in this one? I had to do things down the docks. And speaking of which, they want me to build another dock too. What are you insinuating? Honestly, didn't even know there was a king, so in, that in itself is quite the insult to be had. But you know what, sure, the king looks like an anteater. Oh, calling the uh, king an anteater apparently did very well for us, as we can now proclaim our independence, and um, I, I think we're going to do this immediately, and we're definitely not paying any money to an anteater. I mean, Jesus, who do you think we are? What the hell would an anteater even do with $10,000? Oh, yes, yeah, so the 1700s is an interesting time in history where people would have the ability to throw fireballs from their hands at towers. Unfortunately, humans did lose this ability in the Great Harry Potter War of the Anteaters. You know, I can't wait for in the future when we talk about our Great Independence War and how it was fought next to a homeless person, Shaq. So now that we've got our independence, we can found our constitution, and of course, we're gonna put in our wealthy citizens' vote only because we can't trust those pesky underling anteaters who aren't rich like me from all the goats. I'm telling you guys, goat milk is the new Bitcoin. Oh god, as soon as we move up to the next age apparently everyone's too good to work in the guard towers well you know what yeah fair enough it's kind of boring up there so apparently my goat ranches aren't doing that great for the environment as they're slowly degrading the environment around it but don't worry we've got plenty of land to build more goat farms I it It'll turn a profit one day, guys. I promise you. You see, the problem is we just didn't have enough goat farms, all right? We just need to get more goat farms means more milk, which means more money. Or, you know, some sort of, like, goat disease. Okay, we got so much milk, we've left it around too long and it's gone rotten. Thankfully... That's an actual thing! Oh, wait, I just realized with my Inquisition, I can actually persecute religious people. How does that work? I can add a butter churner to the creamery, and apparently that somehow provides entertainment for the workers, but I, I'm struggling to understand why. So, uh, we're in our first election. It's going really well. I, I think we, we, we're gonna win. We're definitely gonna win. Oh, jeez, I, I can actually win the election without, without cheating. That's pretty cool. I just need to have to make a quick call to the Russian embassy to tell them that it's off. So I put my dungeon surrounded by my goat farms, mostly because I, I consider it a form of torture from both the smell of milk in the air and the fact you're probably never gonna sleep for the rest of your life with the sound of the goats around. 
So now that it's 1918, the Great Wars are starting and we have to invite both the Axis <clears throat> in 1918 to our embassy and we can also go ahead and invite ourselves the Allies in our other embassy. But don't worry, there won't be any sort of gang wars between them on my land because I've actually faced the doors the other way round. So, uh... Um, I actually did that accidentally. I'm just trying to, like, make up a story here. Oh, great. So, apparently, people are unhappy. We've been in constant debt for the past, like, 100, 200 years because of the goat farm industry or whatever. But don't worry. Oh, crap. I forgot to upgrade my musket men. I'm fighting people. I'm fighting people with M16s. With musket men. Although I am very confused why the rebels have M16s. It's not the weirdest thing I've seen. I have been playing Battlefield 5 all week. Oh, yeah. That's normal, too. Just a helicopter in, in 1990. 19. That's normal. So the Illuminati High Councils decided that France Ferdinand needs to die to start the world war. And thankfully, I've got an assassin perfect for it. Now, which one of my children with the bowl cuts do I send? My daughter looks like E.T. in a wig. I'm gonna run out of space to build over here in the main part of town. So I'm gonna have to build this cabaret somewhere. Uh, I didn't really want to build it, but I feel like it would be a great place to put it. And that's right next to the mine. You know how it is. It's 6 p.m. You finish your job at the mine and then you go ahead and start your 7 p.m. job at the cabaret club. You see, all these rebels just keep coming back. They keep trying to take me down, but little do they know, I've got a secret weapon. It's a Soviet T-34 tank. Yeah, not quite the Siege of Stalingrad, but basically the same thing. Oh, that's just dandy. Actually, that's not that bad. The tornado just rolled over the people who were striking against me. Oh, God, no, not the co farms. That's going to cripple our economy. Uh Never mind. So apparently, the creamery is on strike. And I really, really can't afford that. Really? Another tornado! Uh, uh, excuse- This is like the third tornado in a row! Right, I'm gonna be completely real with you, right? I got invaded by the Allies, but I I'm just gonna have to say this right now. One of you is gonna have to go home and change because I'm wearing my T-34 too. You can't turn up in a T-34 too. What the hell? Oh my god. It's happening! I'd have been putting all of my money into the cheese and milk business. Didn't really think about this one. Maybe you can live in a, a, a giant block of cheese. Oh yeah, of course. Of course not. Why wouldn't there be the fourth tornado outbreak? Oh, oh, what's happened here? We've moved on to the modern times and... The cheese industry really ended up paying off? You know what they say with a thriving milk and cheese industry. Build a nuclear submarine and an aircraft carrier. Oh, it's beautiful. Every time there is a revolt against our people because of probably the, the, the massive amounts of cheese smell in the air, we can just go ahead and bomb them with our jet planes. Now imagine North Korea, but imagine them with a major cheese addiction. Giant laser. That sounds right up my alley, funnily enough. And yes, I have $51 million in the bank, I have 196 homeless people, and I'm, I'm building a giant laser instead of home. Yeah, I don't know where those rockets are going. Um, there, there's nukes on them. They, they could be going anywhere. Well, we got a rebel problem, which means it's time to test the giant laser. I, I think I, yeah, I just missed. Uh, let's try that again. Actually, better idea. This requires a bit of precision, so we're gonna go ahead and press the big red button and just nuke them. Of course, all these missiles are going into my town, but I don't imagine that'll cause any bother for us. Uh, it's just... Oh, that's, um... It's quite a bit of fire. Oh, hey, Mr. Rebel. Here's my giant laser! Isn't it cool? Wait, did he survive the giant... Oh, no, he, he definitely didn't survive the giant laser. Now, this earthquake could be a consequence of us being a bad leader, or maybe we just lasered a bit too deep into the ground. This is great. I don't even have to fight the rebels anymore. I can just use my giant laser to take them out from above. Like, no one could stop me. Oh, uh, hold on a second. I forgot about elections, and now everybody hates me. And more importantly, I... Uh, wait, the giant laser. Uh, hi, Medina Rodriguez. Meet my giant laser! Oh god, that changed nothing. That, 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 someone else just took her place. We, we gotta get them to where are they? Well, if I'm going out, everyone's gonna have to go out with me. Fire at will! Ah, never mind. Um, so, overall though, we could say that our nation was a giant success. It just so happened to be the cheese and milk money went straight to my head. I built a giant laser. And I, I took out some, you know, political opponents, and I'm gonna miss that giant laser.